Hello students, there is a common belief that to solve a math problem it is enough to know the theory behind it. But every math problem is unique and I think that in addition to theory, which of course is important, we need to practice a lot and see techniques that others use to solve a particular problem. This is a problem that many students find difficult even though they know all the theory needed to solve it. The problem says, trucks that travel on highways have to stop at various locations to be weighed and inspected for safe brakes and light systems. Of these trucks, 79% are on interstate commerce, while 21% are on intrastate. Of the intrastate truck, 2.9% are flat for safety defect, compared to 0.9% of those that are on interstate business. So this is the information of the problem. So they give me this information and with, with this information, I need to answer these questions. First. Calculate the probability that a randomly chosen truck is an interstate truck and is not flat for a safety violation. Second, what is the probability that a randomly chosen truck does not have a safety defect? And see, if two trucks are chosen randomly, determine the probability that only one of the two does not have a safety defect. First, let's get the information. Let's see what is the information that they tell me. So first, they give me some events. For example, they tell me that 79% are or interstate commerce. So I'm going to call E, this event, the truck that you select is on interstate commerce. And they are telling me the probability that that happened. So 79% of the trucks are on interstate commerce. So the probability of E is 0.79. So I'm going to take note of this. So we have this information. This is given in the problem. There is another information here. There is 21% are intrastate. So if I choose a truck randomly, the probability that is intrastate, it will be 0.21. So we have another event. The truck is on interstate commerce. If you select this truck, there will be a probability. If you select the truck, there will be a probability that be on interstate commerce. And this probability is 21%. So the probability of this A, I'm going to call it probability of A, equals 0.21. And I also notice in the questions that they are asking me about no flat for a safety violation. So when you select a truck, there is a possibility that it's not flat for a safety violation. So look at here, again, in the question B, what is the probability that a randomly chosen truck does not have a safety defect? So the same. Or for example, here in question C, if two trucks are chosen randomly, determine the probability that only one of the two does not have a safety defect. It looks like the problems are related to, to the trucks that don't have this safety defect or they are not flat for a safety violation. So I'm going to call S this safe truck. I'm going to call it a safe truck. And I'm going to call this event safe, S. S will be the truck is safe. And the truck is safe means it's not flat for a safety defect. For example, in question B will be what is the probability that a randomly chosen truck is safe, so don't have a safety defect. And they give me information about this. For example, they tell me that the intrastate trucks, there is a 2.9% probability that are flat for, flagged for safety defect. So, if the truck is known to be intrastate, there is a 2.9% that is not safe, so it is flagged for safety defect. So I'm going to say that the information is the, the probability that the, the, the truck is 
flag for safe for, for safety or if false that is safe given that this interest take is 0 0.029 so 2.9 percent and obviously if this is the probability of being false that is safe of being flagged for safety defect then one minus this will be the probability of being safe given that is a, an intrastate commerce track. I'm going to type the probability of safe given A, of course, will be 1 minus this. So this will be the complement of this. This will be the event the truck is not safe. If false, that is safe, is flag for safety violation. Then the opposite, the probability of safe given that is intrastate commerce is 1 minus that. And so it will be 1 minus 0 0.029, so we know that will be 0 0.971. There is a 0.9% probability that being not safe given that is on interstate business. So if we know that the truck is on interstate business, then there is a 0. 9% probability, or I'm going to say 0 0.009. So I'm going to say the probability of false of being safe or flat for safety violation, given that it's on interstate commerce, is 0 0.009. And obviously, 1 minus D will be the probability of being safe, given that it's uh, an interstate commerce track. So it will be 1 minus 0 0.09 and this is 0 0.991. So this is the first things that we need to see what information we have in a problem. And now let's apply this for answering the questions of the problems. For example, question A, calculate the probability that the randomly selected truck is not flagged for a safety violation. Okay, let's solve this first question. To get the solution, we have that the probability of being in the interstate business is 0 0.79. We also know that the probability of being in the intrastate business is 0 0.21. We know also the probability of being safe given that is into in the intrastate business. And, it, and this is this 0 0.971. And finally, we know the probability of being safe, given, in, given that the truck is in the interstate business, is this 0 0.991. So this is the information that we have. And the question that it's asking me here is what is the probability that a randomly chosen truck is an interstate truck and is not flat for a safety violation. So it's safe, because it's not flat for it a safety violation. I'm going to say that the question they are asking me is what is the probability of being in the interstate business and safe and being safe. So they are asking me the probability of E and S. And we know that the probability of E and S is the probability of the first multiplied by the probability of the second given the first. So this is the formula for computing the joint probability of two events. The probability of E and S happened. So it will be the probability that the first event happened multiplied by the probability of the second, given that the first happened. And I know, actually, I have the information of both of these. We have the probability of being in the interstate business. It's 0 0.79, so it will be 0 0.79 multiplied by the probability of safe given E, of being safe given that is in the interstate business. This is 0 0.991 that is here, so type it here, 0 0.991. So we multiply this using the calculator, and that gives me, that gives me 0 0.7829. So that gives me the answer of this first problem. We have more information now. We have the four data that they told me, and, uh, and we have found the probability of E and S. Let's take note of this for answering any other questions. Let's type it here be, be, below. 
So we know, we know now that the probability of E and S is 0.7829. And let's think in the second question, what is the probability that the randomly chosen track does not have a safety defect? And it doesn't have a safety defect, mean that it's safe. So they're asking me the probability of being safe. So they're asking me the probability of S. But how a truck can be safe? Maybe the truck is in the interstate business and is safe, or maybe the truck is in the intrastate business and it's safe. So I'm going to say that the probability of S will be the probability of E and S or A and S. So it could be in the interstate and safe or in the intrastate and safe. So for a truck to be safe, it needs to be or here or here. And we know how to compute the probability with an order. The only thing that I need to do is add together the two probabilities. So it will be the probability of E and X plus the probability of A and S. Obviously, we also noted that these two events are mutually exclusive. It's impossible that two trucks can be at the same time in the interstate business and also in the intrastate business. So these two events are mutually exclusive. For that reason, adding together the two probabilities will be the solution of this problem. So the probability of being safe will be the probability of E and X plus the probability of A and S. And the probability of E and S is again a joint probability. And we already know this was the one that we computed in the first problem. Now we need to know the probability of A and X and add it to the first one. However, we don't know this, but we can compute it. Probability of A and S, it will be in the same way that we compute the first one. So this is again a joint probability. Let's compute it here. Probability of A and X will be the probability of the first multiplied by the probability of the second given the first. Yes, the formula of joint probability. And the probability of being in the intrastate business is 0 0.21. So it will be 0 0.21 multiplied by the probability of S given A, 0 0.971. If we multiply these two numbers, we use the calculator and we found that this is 0 0.2039. So we have the two values that we need to answer question B. So we know that the first one is 0 0.7829, so we type it here, 0 0.7829, plus the second one, probability of A and S, and this is, will be 0 0.2039. So these two, adding these two numbers, the answer will be this. So the answer will be, using the calculator, 0 0.9868. So the probability that the truck is safe, so in other, in, in other words, that the truck does not have a safety defect, is 0 0.9868. And this answer question B. And of course, now we have this new, new data. The probability of X will be 0 0.9868. We have other data here, for example, probability of A and S. So we have that is 0 0.2039. However, we don't need it to answer question C. Question C, what is question C? Remember, question C, if two trucks are chosen randomly, determine the probability that only one of the two does not have a safety defect. Only one of the two does not have a safety defect. For the student that have studied a binomial distribution, they noted that this is a binomial distribution. We are making two trials, and we know that the probability that the truck is safe, so does not have a safety defect. The probability of being safe is 0 0.9068. So if you know binomial distribution, use binomial distribution with n equal to, because you are choosing two trucks, n equal to, what is the probability of exactly one? So. For the student that know binomial distribution, solve this problem using a binomial distribution. But if you don't know a binomial distribution, to get a solution, we need to take into account that there will be two 
different events. S1 will be the event the first stroke is safe. So you choose the first stroke and the first stroke is safe. And S2, I'm going to call it the second track is safe. So now they are asking me the probability of only one safe. So this is so I'm going to call it that the probability of S1 to be safe is 0 0.9868. But obviously the probability of the second being safe is again 0 0.9868 because these two events are independent. Are independent because if the first truck is safe, that does not change the probability that the second can be safe also. Why not? There, there, there is no change in the probability of the second. So there is no influence in the probability just because the first truck is safe. The other truck can be safe also with the same probability. So there is these two events are independent. So we know the probability of being safe. And also we know the probability of not being safe. In case that we need it, eh? we are going to compute it. Because if there is exactly one safe, and that's what we want to compute probability of exactly one safe, that could happen if the first one is safe and the other not. So it will be the probability that the first is safe and the second is not safe. Or maybe it's the opposite, that also it will be exactly one truck safe if the second is safe and the first one no. So this probability will be obtained adding together the probability of these two events. And again, these two events are mutually exclusive because it's impossible that the first is safe and the second not safe, and at the same time, the second safe and the first not safe. So these two events are mutually exclusive. They cannot happen at the same time. So computing this probability is just adding together the probability of the first plus the probability of the second. And this it will be easy because it's again a joint probability. So it will be the probability of the first is safe multiplied by the probability that the second is not safe. I don't write it here given that the first was safe. No, because they are events that are completely independent. So if the first truck is safe, it doesn't change the probability of being safe of the second truck. So for that reason, these two events are independent, so we just multiply the two probabilities. And again here, forgetting this probability will be the probability of S2 multiplied by the probability of no S1. And I know if the probability of being safe is 0 0.9868, the probability of no safe will be 1 minus this number, yeah? so it will be 0 0.0132. And now that I have these two numbers, we can substitute here. For example, probability that the first truck is safe is 0 0.9868. Multiply by the probability that the second truck is not safe, so 0 0.0132. Plus the probability that the second truck is safe, 0 0.9868. Multiply by the probability that the first one is not safe, multiply by 0 0.0132. So just make this in the calculator and you know that the answer will be 0 0.0261 if I round it to two to four decimals. Okay, that solved the problem. So this is a good problem to practice. This is a good problem to see techniques for solving it. And then you can apply this technique for solving other problems that involve joint probabilities, the probability of one event and the other. There are many problems that are similar to this. Okay, with this, I finished my explanation of this problem. I hope you can find it useful. Thank you.